Hello Tubers, Jeff here. Today I'm going to talk about setting up a nice shop stereo and give you some pointers that maybe you could save a little money on too. Yeah, through the years I fixed a few stereos and TVs. It was kind of neat because it was a different kind of challenge for me. We're up here on the third floor because my stereo here has been put into retirement. I uh, developed one more issue and I decided it's time to retire it instead of repairing it again. So anyway, I have a new system downstairs that I set up and let's go down and take a look at that. Now I got a question for you. Would you ever consider purchasing a surround sound unit for your shop? I got one like this in the house that I had for years. It's one tough unit. Now I bought this a while back on eBay for a couple hundred dollars. And one thing I always like to do is have a fan on the top of the units. Really, if you're just running normal volume, you probably don't need it. But if you're rocking it, it's a real good investment in my mind. Now, I wasn't being funny with the light bulb here in the back, but this fan was out of a Xerox copier machine that Ren gave me, and it run way too fast. So I put a little light bulb on it for resistor. Now, you're not going to want to come in the office here to adjust the volume all the time. So I have a little infrared link here that comes from the shop out there and then you have your little eye right here and then that goes to the receiver to adjust the volume. And then out in the shop I have a couple of them infrared links placed and then you can adjust the volume from out in the repair area. And of course you gotta have one up by the bench by the telephone and your work area. I found these on eBay. I like them because they don't have a real lot of buttons and you can still change your channels on the stereo uh, and turn the stereo on and off and even mute it if you wish. But if you get something that will do this, you want to make sure you get a learnable one. And you know how I'm always famous for giving you a part number in case you're interested. Now this is my remote for that surround unit in the house. It's a learnable one. I'll show you about that in a minute here. Uh, but anyway, they, on the learnables they always have the two LEDs and if you ever want to check your remote, a camcorder can sense infrared signals. So as you can see, you're not going to see that with your eye and they're different speeds depending on which button you push. Now here's why I like these remotes. Instead of having a whole bunch of remotes laying around on your shelf next to where you sit, uh, you can program every single button on these to what you wish. Now, what I have up here on the top, I have it set up for my DVD players. And then with a little box to surround, that's for the main TV. And the volume on the right there, that's for uh, the stereo volume. And further down, this is for my little TV that I use for computer monitor, and it's a TV too. And the rest is for your surround sound control. Now, something I use a lot of around here too, it seems to come in handy for so many different things is this stuff here. And what I use it for is, like on the bottom remote, you want some feet down there so it don't rock around on the table. And like on this one, it's all round, so I made four little round feet on there. And then when you hit a button, it don't rock around on the table. Now, uh, let me show you a little trick here, quick tool. And where if you got a socket set, I'll show you what you can do here. Take a socket and put it under rubber. foot and you make them whatever size you wish and just peel off the sticky on the back and you're all set. The wildlife people. The wildlife. <laughs> that little mascot's checking out the old parts off the customer cars. <laughs> anyway here, uh, let's show you these speakers here. And if you're patient, you can wait for a sale. And uh, these Polk Audios, I bought these on sale. They were a little bit over $100 a pair. And so for that, I thought, well, let's set up the whole surround system here. So got that all configured. 
And there's a little look at it. Now what I just showed you there for stereo setup, uh, you're talking right around 500 bucks. Hey tubers, taking a break from the shop here for a minute. I came in the house and I thought, ah, just for the heck of it, I got a power meter I bought years ago. And it hangs on my video rack in the house. And uh, I thought I'd throw that in with the video here too. Watch it when I turn the stereo up. My friends always give me cool stuff too at Christmas time, so I thought you'd get a kick out of seeing that too. And whoop whoop. Yeah, we better get back to the shop here. Now here's the icing on the cake. If you want to spend a little bit more money, these powered sub boxes are unbelievable to experience. If you want the rock concert sound at your place, this is what you gotta have too yet. Them things are sweet. Thought I'd quick show you something I picked up here at a car show a little while back too. Now, it was gold originally and I threw some paint on I had from a customer car left over and I grinded out the case, put a light in it and put a doorbell transformer on to power the light and when you turn the stereo on it lights up and also I had to make it work too. But anyway, hey thank you for viewing my channel here and I'd like to catch you back here again soon sometime. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.